Welcome to the show. Hey, hey, hey dude, dude, what whoa. are you doing? No, sir. No. 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 Go sleeve some cards or something, man. Hey, man, in this episode, we talk NBA. We're going to talk comics. We talk uh, some other things. And events. So enjoy. Watch it, folks. Episode 110 of The Adventure Begins of Jazz. And I'm Cherick. We got a couple of events for you this week. Monday the 19th. Miniature it's Mondays. Miniature Monday, like Chaz just said, and I almost interrupted him with. Guess what? It's all day, every Monday. Come on in. Calendar says 4 to 8. Show up whenever. Uh, like, it's usually set up by noon. It's really, really simple. Kind of come in. Anyway, you're going to bring your models. We got paint. We got brushes. We got all sorts of stuff there for you. All you got to do is bring your butts and your miniatures, and you're good to go, my guys. Uh, have a good time. It's fun. Yeah, it's totally free. Totally free. Tuesday the 20th, we got a Digimon Sanction Store Tournament in-house. It's 5 bucks, 5.45 for you people who don't like rounded numbers. Hey, man. Quarterly schedule? I get it. I don't get it. Why are you like this? Anyway, $5 entry for the tournament that we're doing in-store. Guess we're going to win cool stuff like, I don't know, prize packs, probably in-store credit, probably some fame and fortune. Like I said, in-store credit. Uh, it should be a good time. Come on in, 5.45, once again, Tuesday the 20th. The new dude Julius heads us up, right? He does, that's right. Is that true? It's, I, 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 why would I lie? I don't know. Just something. Come hang out with Julius. He's a pretty cool lying. dude. Thursday the 22nd, we have a comic art meetup. This is totally free. This is at 5 p.m. And yeah. it's for all you comic art enthusiasts. That's right. Are you an enthusiast? Do you like comic art? Do you want to do your own comic art? Well, guess what? Show at 5 o'clock, Thursday the 22nd. This thing's for you. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. It's easy. It's easy. With like-minded comic art enthusiasts. Easy, breezy, comic girl. Bring in your own comic art. Wow, that's kind of what it's for, I believe. <laughs> Friday the 23rd, we got the Team Yankee Flames of War meetup. This is free. This is also free. That's mm -hmm. at 6 p.m. Uh, it's a cool time to come on in, meet the guys who do that stuff. Uh, meet our boy Jimmy J. He's the one who kind of runs and organizes that for it. Jimmy J. Uh, Jimmy J the Boulder. No, okay. I'm trying to find a nickname for him. It's not working out. Also going on, we got uh, X-Wing going on that night as well. Every Friday, like usual, we're going to have to compete for space for that one just because, mm -hmm. you know... Team Yankee, Jimmy J. It's taking off. It's taking off. Taking off. <laughs> then you blow up. Then you blow up. It's kind of how it goes. Yeah. Uh, also going on, it's a lot going on Friday the 23rd. It's kind of weird. We've got our Pokemon Hidden and Shining Fates ETB box break, which is currently sold out, so don't right. call us and ask if you can get a piece of this. No. 6 p.m. What, what's going on with that? Ain't nobody giving up their spots. Yeah, man. Uh, professor Colton and myself, he's a Pokemon professor. That's right. Yeah, so um, I'm just there for uh, the giggles. He's, he's there, there for entertainment. He's there for knowledge. Yeah, and that's yeah, it, man. So it'll be live. So if you want to come in store and hang out with us and see it in real time, well, wow. just hang out with us. Just come out, come on in, man. It's six o'clock. Yeah, if you want to watch it with like a three minute delay on online, uh, social media, some of that. Guess like what? Forty five seconds. Delay. It feels like three minutes if you're watching <laughs> it both in store as well as online. It's weird. Uh, they can do that. Where can they find that? You can find it on uh, Twitch. And we'll have it linked up through uh, thewoodlandsonline.com. Nice. We're going to do um, Facebook and uh, YouTube and all the things. All the stuff. If thewoodlandsonline.com is available. They never know until 15 minutes before I ask them to do it. So It works. <laughs> <laughs> also going on Saturday the 24th, which is another day, not the same day as the 23rd. Uh, we have a Pokemon Team Summer Challenge Qualifier. This is going on at 4 p.m. Signups are on our Discord server. There should be a link to that on the website, mm -hmm. uh, which you should probably find the link somewhere down the bottom somewhere during this episode. Uh, hey, it's right there. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Could be here. Could be later. Uh, so sign up there. Go through the stuff you need to do to sign up for our Discord server. Head to the Pokemon section. You should be able to easy breezy right there for you not a problem uh it's a good way to get cool prize support get a little more competitive scene going on and it's all online so you actually talk to people no oh. so you can't go wrong easy be no. easy dude easy breezy pokemon squeezy i'm gonna love you and hug you and kiss you forever and ever and ever and i will hug him and pet him and squeeze him anyway so yeah so the the challenger uh the challenge the Summer Challenge Qualifier. If you're part of the break the night before, boom. Well, if you got some awesome cards that you need for this tournament, you got it. You're right there. Can't go wrong. Well, also going on the 24th, we have our Warhammer. Uh, it's actually it's, it's a mistake. It's Warhammer. Is that Warhammer? It is Warhammer. I can't read. Warhammer? I can't read. What you it's think Monday. it said? <laughs> I thought it said Warhammer. No, Warhammer. There's, there's definitely Warhammer? Just regular old Warhammer. That's just normal old Warhammer. Yeah. See, the capital H in there can confuse me. Can't read. 
Eat. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, like going on, every week. Saturday the 24th is our Warhammer and Tabletop Meetup. Guess what, boys and girls, 4 p.m. is when the calendar says. But guess what, if you want to show up at 11 o'clock, sit here all day and play, you know, with your little tiny miniatures and do stuff, you can, Jared. Uh, not a problem with that, and it's a fun time. So whether you're new, old, or somewhere in between, this is the event for you. Super casual environment, wanting to get people invested in the game. So come on down. Uh, I've noticed this week a lot of people buying into uh, mainly Warhammer. Yep. And they're asking, hey, well, they're letting us know that they're new to the area. Where can we find some Warhammer peoples like Saturday? So this is definitely growing. Yes. And hopefully as we grow, it will continue, to, continue, continue to grow. Uh, so that should be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, if you know anyone who's interested or you yourself are interested, come on down on a Saturday, probably around that noon o'clock hour. is going to be your best time to really see games going. Start asking questions. Introduce yourself to the community. We want to see our community grow and develop. We're not like some of our other people out there who are super competitive mindset. We do have a very communal uh, organization here. So yeah, and wanna... everybody's really cool with arms wide open. Yeah. They'll, they'll invite you in to I've, the fold. I've yet to have a table be like, hey, uh, can you not ask questions while we're doing this? Thank no. you. No, for um, sure. Everybody's really cool. So to all the ones who hang out and they were really cool, man, thank you guys very much. We appreciate you. Heroes play here. Sunday the 25th, <laughs> D&D Adventurers League. This is for 16 plus. That's right. It's five bucks. Five dollar. Says sign up online. Yeah, yeah. if our give us a call. The website should be I'm up. I'm not here usually, so. And if it is, just go to the calendar section. Yeah. Go into where it says events. Click that tab, and this should be like a nice, cool scroll window where you have all the events pop up. And that's right. I'm gonna give you a cool hint. This is insider. This is insider trading tip for you guys. So if you're buying high, you want to sell low. Obviously, uh, if you don't see it on that list, one of two things is happening. Either one, we're full. So we don't have any more seats open. That's probably as simple as that. Or two, it's not happening. Every now and then we have a DM cancel last minute, or we don't have a DM sign up for a table, and so we're not going to have anything available for that. Uh, so please don't ask. We have secret seats. Uh, we don't have like a back room with like illegal D and D going on, uh, where you gotta like you know have money down the table. So please just remember that. Um, probably the best way to find stuff and get signed up. So upcoming events. The only one that's coming up that uh, I know of, because I haven't seen May's calendar yet. No, me neither. Um, we've got uh, our buddy, David DeSmolchin. Whoa! He's coming back onto the show, man. We're super excited. Can't wait. And you're like, David, who? Who is this guy? Well, he's in a lot of stuff, man. He was in uh, Batman, yep. The Dark Knight. He plays uh, one of the Joker's henchmen. That's true. He's the Russian in Ant-Man. Baba Yaga. Baba Yaga. Yeah, that's right. And he's Polka Dot Man in the brand new... Uh, Suicide Squad. It's going to be really cool. It's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait. So I'm sure we'll touch on some of those things. Yep. But uh, he's mainly here to talk about his comic, Count Crowley. He's got some cool stuff coming up through Dark Horse. And uh, he wants to talk about that. And we had a really good time the last time he was on the show. Yeah. And uh, I've kind of mentioned it here and there to our peoples that come in. So we've had an uptick of Count Crowley being sold. It's a cool comic. Yeah. Definitely worth looking into. If you want to see that interview that we talked to him last time, check out our Quarantine Con stuff from last year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a really cool, uh, about an hour long interview. And he's a really cool cat. So yeah. definitely worth checking out. It's really cool. He shows off some of his collection from yeah. his house. Yeah. He's got a lot of weird stuff in his house. And it's, just, it's, it's awesome. That's right, man. So we've got a couple copies of this left. We may get some more in because of the interview or whatever. But it's come in, get Count Crowley. It's awesome. Bless and him. keep your peepers open. For the interview that's, that's right. coming out soon. Should be a fun time. Yeah, man. So don't forget to check out all the upcoming events by going to the Adventure Begins website, Facebook page, and Instagram. Yeah. All that fun stuff. Sorry. Social media, dudes. <laughs> I took over your part. No, no, you're good. <laughs> Off to comics. Take it away, Chaz. Got one right here. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
One of the most influential artists of all time delivers a wonderful Red Sonja homage painted cover. Homage. And this week's secret stash, we got Red Sonja number one. It's the 1977 commemorative remastered edition signed by artist Greg Hildebrandt. Hildebrandt. It's great, man. This thing is awesome. We only have a few copies in store. And like I said, we've got the signature there at the bottom. So if you want this, man, come get them quick because these secret stashes are selling out. They don't last long. That's right, man. And remember, gang, we open at 11. 11. It's the NBA player of the day, man, and this thing is gaining some traction. It's always gaining traction. It's one of the more popular events that we've had. For sports cards, at least. Yeah, for sure. That's right. And guess what? And as far as players of the day, it's one of the more popular ones. I, I guess mean, the more people buy sports cards, the more people participate. I what? just wish we had more PJ. It's not the same, dude. I need more PJ in my life. <laughs> right on. Ugh. So this is what happens, man. You come in the store, you buy a Panini or Donruss um, pack of basketball cards, and depending on who the player of the day is, open the cards right in front of us. If you get that player of the day, you'll get a blue foil Panini player of the day pack. That's right. Which you can't get anywhere else. Exactly. Also, if you open that pack and you pull one of our wild cards as well, boom, also a pack right there. Can't go wrong. That's right, man. And if you buy a box, blaster, or a hanger, we just assume yeah. that you've got one of the three. You're going to get something in there that's going to work, so we're just here to have packs. Yeah, so we're going to give you two packs, plus get one of the three. You'll be put down like uh, in our weekly drawing. Yep. There's a national drawing. There is a national drawing. And there's like an overall drawing as far as the store's concerned. Yeah, so you're going to have a weekly, you're going to have a chance for the big weekly prize, which is a whole bunch of probably Panini branded material and all sorts of like stuff. Like hats and hats, packs. packs, masks, all that fun stuff. The loyalty um, points. Loyalty points as well. If you, uh, if you manage to pull any of our players today or the wild card, you also get put in for a grand prize drawing as well, which is a big one, where as long as you get a thing of sports cards on your purchase, 25 to 25, 25% off. Simple as that. I like how that was, 25, 25, 25. 25%. I'd buy that for 49.99 because that's how much usually the packs are. Probably. Yeah. All right, man, so here are your players of the day. April 19th, we have Jason Tatum of the Boston Celtics. Celtics? <laughs> Celtics. Celtics. You want to read that one? Nah, Celtics. All right, cool. April 20th, Carl Anthony Towns, Minnesota Timberwolves. April 21st, Fred Van Vliet of uh, the Toronto Raptors. April 22nd, Nikola Vucevic, Orlando Magic. What'd you call me? Orlando Magic? I called no. you Magic. You called me? Oh, there you go. Cool. But not Mike. I'm going to hey, twist it, son. Not a problem. April 23rd, we have Kobe White of the Chicago Bulls. April 24th, Zion Williams, New Orleans Pelicans. And, of course, April 25th, Trey Young, Atlanta Hawks. Now, your wild cards, as always. As always. Anthony Edwards of the Minnesota Timberwolves. And Ja Morant. Ja Morant, the Memphis Grizzlies. Rawr. That's right. So, again, you have to open up the packs in front of us. You can't leave. It. And then come back and say, hey, this is what I Hey, I got this cool Ja Morant card when I come home. And I got yeah. it. You know, here we am. Yeah. Doesn't work. Sorry right for you. No. So uh, we got to give so much love to uh, P.J. Washington Jr. In the arms of an angel. Yeah, rest in peace, bro. He ain't dead. He's just, just not part of the NBA part of player of the day. Like, what the hell? And we not only miss saying your name, P.J. Washington, Washington Jr., but uh, man, hopefully you're on, uh, on the next roster. Maybe there's always next year. Let's get a moment of peace, P.J. Washington Jr. Do you guys have any D&D &D stuff? I hate busy days. Man, it sure is quiet today. At least the D&D &D junkies are here. That's true. They seem sad, though. They really do. As the thrill of tabletop gaming lost its pizzazz, would you rather go outside and play sports? You guys look pretty poor. We've got just what you fellas need. Grab, Grab a fistful of death with, with Gale Force 9's Skull Dice. Skull Dice! This pack contains 20 grim dice with a skull in place of the six. Quality? Skulls? Six? 
With a glance, you'll know how many killing blows your forces have landed on the enemy. 16 bone dice with black pips and four black dice with bone pips. Pips? Are you loco, man? So if you want to deal some death, the adventure begins as the place to die. Deal damage and death for only $17. Plus tax. Skull dice crush the competition. The adventure begins, 525 Woodland Square Boulevard. Pick up your skull dice today. Well, um, that was crazy. Yeah, it was. I wish they would end up playing sports, though, because they'll never leave. Skull dice! Want your comics, games, and sports cards, but you don't want to leave the house because either you're lazy, you're in the middle of a big old game, That's big. or you're scared of COVID? Hey, it all works still. Yeah. Well, guess what? You can stop by our web store online at theadventurebeginstx.com. That's right, man, for all your nerdy needs. That's right. And guess what? There is now free shipping for all the 50 states, all of you. That's right, Alaska and Hawaii. I know we talked a lot of smack, but you're in there now. Free shipping to all 50 states on all of your orders over $100. All right, man. So get them in. Man, we'll pack it up for you all nice and neat. We'll just send it on to you. Yeah. You'll have it within a day or two or whatever. Shipping. Yeah, shipping. <laughs> right on. Hey, uh, so this week, we've got another pet of the week. Oh, we do. We do. This is Luna. Luna. Cat. Kitty cat. Meow. She looks like a mixed breed. Nobody told me what it was. It's a cat. It's a cat. This is Luna. Dressed up like a pretty little supergirl. Hey, man, is your animal cool enough to be on this show? Well, send it to us right here at this link, and uh, we'll put Pretty them simple. on the show. Give us all the pictures of your cool cats and kittens and your doggos and everything else. We yeah, love hamsters them. hamsters that are dressed up, maybe? Dude, you got a snake that has a you know, Mega Man helmet on it? Dude, <laughs> awesome. Send it in. <laughs> and actually, I guess they don't have to be dressed up. People no. are just sending them dressed up because, I, I mean, guess, because we're a comic works. store. But, I mean, dude, we'll take any animal picture because animals are awesome. That's true. Maybe they could do a trick. Ooh, there you go. Do the video. Ooh, there you go. For sure. Now, uh, talk about cool cats. That's right. Got a boy, Julius, is in the shop, man. So um, he headed up the Dragon Ball tourney this last week. That's right. And uh, here's some stuff. All right, this is Justin Winner. The uh, adventure begins Digimon tournament. Uh, yes, Justin sir. here is going to tell us a little bit about his deck. All right. So we got we basically just got set one purple. We run in three Pagumon instead of four because. You run the two Yaman. You don't want to. You always want to run the five, just so you have five full max out Digitama. And you don't want to over mill and then end up decking yourself out super early. And then just quick rundown. The only rookies I play are Ipmon, Tapirmon, Devi, Demi Devimon, and Gautamon. Okay. Uh, mainly, it's almost like his rookie rush, but in just solid purple. You have a lot of aggro power that you can do, but you can also tempo out. So you can pick and choose your battles on if you want to go fast or go slow. Okay. And then with with uh, with your Gobblemon, you actually have a combo that you can do with Wizardramon, where you go on death, draw one, then he toggles, and you can draw two and then discard one. So it's a draw three for a discard one. Um, and then on top of having Wizardmon, his retaliation effect actually kicks in if you have a yellow card on board. Okay. So I run the Magnetramon just for the spice, especially since if you want to tempo out and stall out a little bit longer for those grindier matchups, especially against yellow, you have a chance to redeem yourself to security. And that kind of helps out. Uh, even though this isn't red technically, I do play quite a bit of removal with these guys specifically. And just as another added bonus combo, if you have 10 cards in drop, you can put your Beelzemon on top of Impmon, of course, and then you can delete a level 4 or lower. Your Trump Sword is your almost your Gaia Force, basically. And Red has a card similar to this. And this, I primarily use it just to defeat blockers really quickly. And, you know, you got your, you got your Tamer that recurs anything from the drop. Literally any purple card. So that can go from blockers to level sixes to your option cards. But, you know, because it is purple, you can't grab your yellow, of course. And then... You know, you also have your recursion for your rookies with Night Raid. And with Impmon specifically, you can, you know, you can go for the defensive combo and recur two level fours or lowers, i.e. being 
two blockers if you want. You can go for literally rookies. Uh, you could even bring him out for his inherent draw skill if you really want that draw that badly. And uh, you can also go for the retaliation play by bringing out your Debbie Demimons. But that's pretty much it. Other than just, it's literally just purple tempo, man. All Super right. simple. Super so, easy. So that's Justin. Yes, sir. Winner, the Digimon tournament. Let's go, dude. All right. All right, this is the Adventure Begins tournament winner for Dragon Ball Super. All right, man, explain to us a little bit about your deck. I mean, it's OG Red Broly. Really nothing to explain. Uh, on the front side, search for the field card or one drop extra card. Take a life, critical, awaken, tap two. Uh, swing, he gains 5K for a Broly on the board, critical. And um, anything that happens to the Brolies, you can uh, pitch a card, summon a four drop or less. Uh, pretty simple. Everybody knows about OG Red Broly, but I'll break it down. Four red, four red, four, four drops. Uh, necessity, play it, swap into it. They uh, warp a card for the turn. Um, let me see. Where is it? But that's a necessity. Um, start with the one drops. I play three. Okay. <laughs> Don't want to oversee it, but you need to see it. So it is what it is. Uh, he gains 11 or for ball on the board. Um, He's not the one drop you want to see, but you do want to run him. Of course, you got these boys. Of course. They allow you to bring out Bob. Of course. The combo of the century for Red Broly. Summon him, summon a Bob. Select the Broly, five or less. Um, and of course, you can play him off of Vampa. That you can search with your leader. So, I mean, it's combos for days. But of course, everybody knows these are the one drops. Of course, you run four buys, run four lows. Okay. I run two vampas. Some people run three. So, so we, we hear they call you Jack the Ripper. Mr. Rest in Peace. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do what I do, but I ain't going to talk smack, but. We're going to say I run three, four, three drops, of course. Of course, that's that's mandatory. But of course, you need four to one drop parodies. Because like the bar, it's like the bar and the one drop. Summon him, bring out the parodies. Of course, everybody knows this. Swap into it. It's free. Everybody knows. Oh, yeah, it's good because you're the peer release ones. So you get like then you go. I show the four. I show my six drop ratios. I run six, three six drops. And I run four or five drops because you want to see the five. A lot of people don't want to let you see the six. So six is not really that necessary. But it is necessary if you get three energy. But a lot of people hate them then, so. Of course, you want to see the five. You can search the five. Easy. Six drop, you just better hope you draw it. But of course, that's my ratio to Broly's. And then all the other stuff. Four Raditz, super combos, of course. Put on your deck. Everybody knows. It's Raditz. It goes in red Broly. No questions asked. Big boy. I don't even need to explain them. <laughs> it's big boy. Red Broly. Red Broly. <laughs> I ended with that. Uh, Unison, a lot of people like Kale. But everybody knows you run Piccolo. It's Piccolo. Because he opens the board. As you spam the board, Broly, he opens the board. You can play him for free when he's at three. Uh, and then these are my targets. Just these two, but you always want to search for her. Her.
her and her, him and her is match made in heaven. It's usually game every time. And of course he can bring out the three drop Broly, him, him. But this is a match made in heaven. This, everybody knows that. Okay. Everybody knows that. This this is match made in heaven, so. And then of course the King Piccolo's. And then a little spice, a lot of people not around with it, but I run to a flame. Just in case, I don't know, vegings, stuff like that. And then, of course, the money maker. Four bottle race, ain't even a question. No question. <laughs> no question. If you play DBS, four bottle race. This, this format right now, four bottle race. And then the last card, just in case, I need to push for game, warp, summon, double strike, critical. It is what it is. Yes, sir. Well, that's our, that's our DBS winner with the OG Broly. All right, <laughs> we're out. All right, man, before we take off, do you have anything going on this week? Uh, this week? No, I had to clear my schedule. I'm training a new guy right now, so that's what it is. All right, on, very yeah. cool. Yeah. Is it Grayson? It is Grayson. You've met him. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah. It's hard to miss. He's like the coolest intern ever. It's actually pretty hard to miss. I don't know where he went. Where is he? Grayson! You can never find him. Yeah. It's because he's always working. Yeah. Pfft. Much love to Grayson, man. <laughs> That's right, man. Uh, nothing going on. I don't have anything nothing going on. on. So uh, be sure to check out this week's Zoinks, where we open up a delicious box from Munch Pack. Munch Pack! Mm -hmm. It's a mystery box. If you want to get your very own, go to munchpack.com to get your box of great snacks. Mm -hmm. And don't forget to tell them that the R&R &R nerd sent you. Rock and roll, baby. And guess what? If you want to win an item from that box, or guess what? You just want to win a box itself, because it's a Munch Pack, yeah. uh, don't forget to uh, like and comment. We'll get you one entry into that thing. No, you can't go wrong. That's right, man. And share will get you two. So if you got a like and a comment, two, and then share, that's four. Four ways to get a Munch Pack. Ba -ba Can't go wrong. Uh, so that's going to be it for this week's episode of The Adventure Begins. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a whole bunch of stuff. And we hope we see you on next week for more. Simple as that. That's right. Yeah. New episodes drop every Monday on certain social media platforms like uh, Facebook and Insta and uh, TikTok in China. Not Always. kidding. Not no, on no. TikTok, but still those other two. Plus Roku. For me <laughs> and for <laughs> you. Through theworldlandsonline.com. That's right. I uh, hope you had a good time. And we'll join us again next week once again for more comics, uh, probably a game, some events, and a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaz, I don't mean to brag, but, you know, it's, uh, it's National Garlic Day. Is it? explains a lot for what's going on with people in store. Oh, yeah, there yeah. you go. National Garlic Day. National Garlic Day. Do you know what a garlic does when it gets hot? No. It takes its clothes off. Ha! See you, nerds. That would have hurt. Hey, man, it's episode 110. <laughs> <laughs> The adventure begins. I keep wanting. I've been doing this for weeks, my man. I uh, gotcha. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Right on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say the obvious jokes, Jer. So if you have, uh, you think you're, if you would like your pet to be shown right here on this. Sh hey, man, you think your cat is cool enough to be on this? Show? Hey, what's up, cool cats and cool, uh, cool cats and kittens? What's up, doggy dogs? No. That one hurt physically. <laughs> Blah, blah, it's so good. <laughs> it's dope, it's so good. It's so good, I want to talk in your blood. <laughs> a blah, a blah. Let's redo that. Cut, edit, paste. All right.